studio is the 2004 AP Calculus AB three response questions form B. We're going to do problem number two. So if I move that up the board, make it a little bigger so we can read it. Alright. For 0 to 31, the rate of change of the number of mosquitoes on a tropical island at time t is modeled by R of t 5 times square t cosine t over 5. Kind of an ugly composite function, right? A, a, rat, a, a root of a trig. And it says mosquitoes per day. Guys, mosquitoes per day. That is an object per time. This is a rate of change. There are a thousand mosquitoes on the island at time zero. So the number of mosquitoes is increasing at time six. Well, to prove it's increasing, we just have to show that the derivative is over zero. Well, to prove it's that, we just have to use that part of the function. So we just have to do R of six. You have to make sure your, cal your calculator is in what? Radians. Radians. It has to be in radians. Pretty easy since this is a calculator problem. We get that answer. But you have to explain it. You can't just write this. Okay, you have to have that. So I would write since R of 6 is greater than 0, the number of mosquitoes is increasing. And this is the language you guys we got to work on. We have to come up with these sentences. It has to be that. This is only worth one point. You had to have a combination of showing the values positive and the reason. All right. This is the key to explaining things. And again, you notice it's not a lot of fluff. It is basically a direct statement of what we need. The more writing you have, the less likely to get points. That that was one point. Okay. So again, we know this is going to be worth nine points, right? So we go on to part B. And then B was not worth a lot of points either. This is only worth two. At time six, is the number of mosquitoes increasing at an increasing rate, or is the number of mosquitoes increasing at a decreasing rate? All right. It's asking about the rate of change of the rate of change. So what do we got to do? We got to get the derivative. All right. Now this is something your calculator will do. All right. If you go to math, there's an integration button, there's a derivative button. You can enter the function. All right. So, so again, we need to do the derivative. And you notice I took a snapshot of the TID4 here. So we do derivative, the rate of change of the rate of change. We would write this as r prime of 6, then, do we agree? In this case, the value came out to be negative 1.9132. What would the units be? Well, mosquitoes per day squared, right? Mosquitoes per day per day. All right? And what do we know then? Now we need a sentence, just like the last one. And what would we say? Since r prime of 6 is less than 0, I would say the number of mosquitoes, I want to learn to spell mosquitoes pretty quick here without looking up at the word problem pretty quick, is it's still increasing. Is increasing. Why is it increasing? Because r of 6 is greater than 0. at a decreasing rate. Because our prime of 6 is less than 0. That's what I would write. All right. What was worth points? What was worth points? Good question. Consider our prime of 6. So if you just showed some r prime in this case, you would have got a point. Uh, OK, then I probably didn't see it. And again, so it's clear. I wrote an equivalency in R prime equals little r. And then uh, I see. Yeah. All right. Maybe you got it. I'll give you a maybe. The other point on this one is the, the reason. All right. This reason. You don't need to calculate. You can say by TI84. Do we agree for where it came from? 
All right, and you didn't need units on this one. I forgot you and the work out still. All right, so there is, and if I make it small, I'll save that, that right up there. There. There's letter B. So think about it. We've gone three points. So that means that C and D have to be major points is what you've got to start thinking to yourself. You should realize these are quick answers, right? C, according to the model, how many mosquitoes will be on the island at a time of T equals 31? Round your interest in your soul. Fundamental theorem of calculus, guys. This is absolutely fundamental theorem of calculus. All right? We should realize there is an initial condition at time zero, right? Plus the integral from zero to 31 of R of T D T. And this problem literally should take us just two seconds. The limitation of this problem is how fast can I get to calculate? You guys agree? If you do this math and you put it in there, you should have got some sort of decimal 964.335. So there were so the nearest whole number is 964 mosquitoes. You guys agree? Probably not a bad idea. I, I think it's just a I just think it's good to say where things come from. And again, you don't have to have it there. The integral is worth a point. The answer is worth a point. All right. So here we are. Now we're done with ABC, and we only have five points. Right? The first one's worth a point. The second one's worth two. Letter C is worth two. So what's that mean? The last one is worth four. And this is the one where I think we struggle, all right? So the nearest whole number, what is the maximum number of mosquitoes for zero to 31 time? Show that analysis at least in your conclusion. They want a max. So what do you know? A max occurs when you have a critical point, all right? A max also occurs through the first derivative rule when there's a change, all right? So the first thing I think I want to know is I want to know when the derivative is equal to zero. All right. Now, I think you guys use your solver, and that's fine. But we should also be able to think about this much more in a unit circle instead of using your solver. You could put this in your solver, but you should have come up with three values. All right. In this time frame. All right. If you're going to use your solver, you have to check for zeros all the way through 0 to 31 when you take your guesses. Does that make sense? Find all the zeros. I'm going to put up the equation and then I'm going to show the answers here. So again, this is pretty quick, all right? But I take R of t equals 0 at the top here, all right? And we know that this. And then the second line here, this times cosine of t over 5 equals 0. So each part, a times b equals 0, so either a is 0 or b is 0. So 0 is 1 for this side right here. On the other side, you got to think when cosine equals 0. So the question is, is when's cosine 0? On the unit circle, cosine 0 at 90 degrees or pi over 2, and cosine is 0 at 270 or 3 pi over 2. So t over 5 equals pi over 2, or t over 5 equals 3 pi over 2. So I get three zeros. I get time is 0, time is 5 halves pi, or 2.5 pi is what the TDP test showed, and time is 15 halves pi, or 7.5 pi. Those are my three positions I have to consider. I'm going to erase the uh, calculation here. Now, I would create a table, personally. Do we agree that if we have time, we have R of T. And I have 0, 2.5 pi, and 7.5 pi. And we know that here are the zeros. All right? So I want to check what's happening in the interval. So I might pick a number. Do you guys agree 1 is in between 0 and 2.5 pi? So in my head, I might plug 1 in for the original function. And all you got to know is if it's positive. Cosine of t over 5, it's cosine 1 fifth. Well, that's going to be positive because pi over 2 is like 1.7 degree. So it's first quadrant. One's positive here. So I would argue that in this interval, it's positive. All right? 
Then you go to the next interval and guess what happens? It's negative. You go to the next interval, you know, above 8 times 3, you know, maybe you put it, it's positive again. We know a maximum occurs on the first derivative rule, right? A maximum occurs when you go positive to negative. So we go positive to negative at 2.5. And we should write this out. Positive to negative, the first derivative rule. You guys agree? So we have discovered this, but I am missing one major fact. What's the other thing I have to consider when I think about max and min? Critical points and no. How about the endpoints? I'm going to have to consider the endpoints. All right. So I need to consider at 2.55 for t and at 31. Now, the good news is letter C just did 31, didn't it? Letter C, if you recall, gave you the number of mosquitoes at time 31. From C, this is 964 mosquitoes. So what do I have to do? I just have to get the number of mosquitoes at 2.5 pi time and decide if that's more or less than 964. Most of you guys got the right answer, but you didn't consider the endpoint. Remember, when you're bound, you can have a max or min on the endpoint also. So, I have to do this now, 1,000 plus 0 to 2.5 pi. When you guys had this, it was like 7.854. Yeah, if you had that decimal, you were right. Again, this is RT, DT. All right? And if you do this, it pumps out a number 1039.357. Well, that means there were 1,039 mosquitoes. And I would call that the max because it's more than 964. You need, so the, and I would make some sentence here now that the absolute max occurs at time equals 2.5 pi and is 1039 mosquitoes. All right? The point here now is that you did the integral here, this integral for the absolute max, all right, that you found the critical points up top, all right, that 2.5 pi or 7.854, and that you came up with the answers, all right, that, that you did the absolute maximum value that would be the points. Pretty straightforward problem, but again, the good news is you've got to catch in the original problem, R of T is a rate of change, thus it is a derivative. It doesn't show R prime, does it? But you know the derivative based on the unit.